Welcome to our tech troubleshooting session. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many web developers encounter. Our viewer has a question about CSS media queries not firing as expected in Safari. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's address the issue with media queries not firing as expected in Safari. First, we need to understand how different browsers interpret viewport width. In your case, the media query is defined to hide elements when the viewport width is less than 59.9375 EM. However, Safari is triggering this at a different width due to its calculation method. To achieve cross-browser compatibility, we can use a CSS workaround. One approach is to use a combination of CSS and JavaScript to dynamically adjust styles based on the actual viewport width. Here's a simple JavaScript snippet that can help. This code checks the viewport width and adds a class to the body if the width is below the specified breakpoint. Finally, ensure your CSS is set to hide the element when the class is added. This way you can maintain consistent behavior across all browsers. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the media query issue in Safari, use pixels instead of EMS. EMAs are relative and can be interpreted differently across browsers. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your media query isn't firing in Safari, try this CSS hack. It targets Safari specifically using a combination of min color index and WebKit min device pixel ratio. For more details, you can check the source link provided. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To understand why your media query isn't firing in Safari, check out these two articles. They explain the differences in how browsers handle M values in media queries. In summary, M values depend on root font size. Safari may interpret these differently than other browsers, leading to inconsistencies. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the media query issue in Safari, place the media query after the dot left class in your CSS. This ensures it applies correctly. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for and, you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe.
Until next time, guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Bye. 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 Bye.